if this sign looks familiar to you, it's probably because you saw it in a movie by Barry Levinson called The Diner. But guess what? The Diner is evolving. So I'm here to find out a little bit more about with Halston, who runs The Diner these days. Halston, let's talk about what's going on with the diner. Sure, basically the diner's been sitting here for about three years, not doing much, so we got a hold of it from the city and we decided let's turn this into Baltimore's first food truck park. So it's something never been done in Baltimore before. We want to create a home for all the food trucks in Baltimore. Now, everybody will want to know, the diner's not closing, right? Oh, no, 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 not at all. We're just not going to be serving out of the diner. Every day, Monday through Friday, we'll have different food trucks out here for lunch, later on dinner, so you can come down, pick from between five, six different restaurants, and bring it on in the diner and enjoy it. Let's, let's talk about the food truck industry and the business in Baltimore. This is not something new to you. No, we've been doing food truck events called The Gatherings. Uh, we just finished our fourth season. So when your son approached you about this idea, what were, what were your initial thoughts? Well, having worked that closely with the food trucks, they need more places to park. It's a really uh, fast growing industry. So with a food truck park, they're gonna have a secured spot. We can rotate a schedule between the 30 and 40 food trucks here in Baltimore. And every day there's a different variety, different ones here. I'm gonna guess, Halston, that uh, you need some funds to make this start. Absolutely. I mean, the, we want the food trucks to have a home, but at the same time, we want the community involved as well. So we started doing a Kickstarter campaign about a week ago. We have about, uh, I think, 23 days left to get funding. We're asking for about $50,000 from the community just so that we can re-landscape, we can make a, a stage, we can have a kid zone so we can really revamp the, the grass and the trees, get some more tables and chairs out here. So that way on a nice sunny spring or summer day, people can come enjoy their food truck food, eat it out in the sun, and if it's a little bit of inclement weather, you can go inside the diner enjoy it just as much. I'm guessing a lot of food trucks are going to want to be at this spot. How do you how do you make that work? Well, we, we do it on a rotating schedule to try to make it fair. In the beginning, to help build it, we've got one of the more established trucks every day. We're adding one of the newer trucks to that and maybe a dessert truck. So, And there's a coffee truck here every morning at 7 a.m. So starting to do that, people all around us are getting to realize there's a food truck park and we're going to start delivering food from the food trucks through the order up company starting next week. So if you're up at Johns Hopkins Hospital, you can't make it down, we'll bring the food to you.